This is the 2021 Math Kangaroo Level 7-8, problem number 29. In a tournament, each of the six teams plays one match against every other team. In each round of matches, three take place simultaneously. A TV station has already decided which match it will broadcast for each round, as shown in the diagram. In which round will Team D play against Team F? A1, B2, C3, D4, or E5? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So just a quick recap. Again, we have five different rounds with three matches taking place in each round, but our TV station is only going to broadcast one match for each round. So for example, the TV station will broadcast AB in round one, CD in round two, AE in round three, and so on. So these are the five matches that will be broadcasted, one per round. And we're trying to figure out in which round will Team D play against Team F. So one way we can do this is to fill out as much of this table as we can. Down here, I wrote down all the different matches that happen. Again, we have six teams and each one is playing against every other team. So out of all these matches that are written here, we can already cross out the ones we have accounted for in the table. We have AB, CD, AE, EF, and AC. So let's try to figure out where AD and AF are, for example. So if we start with AD, we know that AD cannot go in round one because A is already playing there. And these matches, again, are happening at the same time in each round. So A can't be playing two matches at the same time. It cannot be in round two either because we have D in AD and D is already playing in round two. A is already playing in round three and A is already playing in round five. So this means that the match AD must occur in round four. And for the rest of the problem, we're going to continue with this sort of logic. So where does that mean AF happens? Well, it must happen in round two, because in all the other rounds, round one, round three, round four, and round five, A is already playing, and A can't play in two matches in the same round. Moving on, um, we can really go to any matches. I think that it might be easy to go to CE and CF. Where can we play CE? Well, it can't go in round two because C is already there. Can't go in round three because E is already there. Round four has E and round five has C. So that means that CE must happen in round one. And at this point, we can kind of figure out our answer because we're trying to figure out where Team D plays against Team F. And keep in mind that in each round, we have all six teams represented. So that means for round one, if we have A, B, and C, E already playing, what two teams are left? Well, D, F are the teams left. So we already know our answer, but let's just keep going um, just to show what happens for the rest of the table. But if you wanted to, you could finish right now. Okay, so let's cross out DF. Next, we can look at round two, for example. We already have A and F, C and D. So what's left? B, E. Um, we can look at round four if we want. We have E, F, A, D, so we're missing B, C. Now we can look at C, F, for example. We know that 
there's already C in round 5, so CF must be in round 3. Then in round 3, we have AE, CF, we're missing BD. So then the remaining two, which are DE and BF, must be in round 5. So in which round will Team D play against Team F? That's over here in round 1. That is answer choice A. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.